day before I am traveling to go meet up with my big family group. And uh, something I thought about today, because I, I just spent the weekend with my son and you know, I, I reflected upon the, pack, the fact that I appreciate so much that we have our completely own language. It's movie quotes. It's like little funny family things. We can speak in a language where if someone was overhearing us, they would have no idea what we were talking about. So what I invite you to look at today is, you know, I, I've been addressing a little bit about how being with your family can be very stressful, right? I mean, there can be old things that start to bubble up. Very often uh, we step back into suddenly we are back in like our childhood selves because we're around the people from our childhood. But what I'm going to invite you to look at today, um, not ignore the bad. I think it's very healthy to draw a strong boundary and be like, listen, I hear what you're saying. I'm not going there today. You know, I appreciate your point of view. I'm going to leave that right here and then kind of gently roll it back to them. Um, I think a clear boundary is incredibly important because everyone's so stressed out to have fun, right? Um, but what I, what I invite you to look at is every family has a language. So my family does have private jokes. It has music. It has songs as its medium. And we can draw back anywhere we are by pointing out like a piece of music and we all know exactly what we're talking about. Maybe for your family, it's sports, like a game that you all watch together or maybe a game that you played, you know, maybe you guys play football every Thanksgiving. I think that each family has a language that they speak. And what I encourage you to do is to bring up the fun part of that family language. Also, every family has a very dysfunctional language that they use. Don't look to bring that forward. But I think that like the, whatever the catalyst is, like maybe you watch the same movie every year, like those kind of traditions. And, and a lot of times they're like kind of like they're from your childhood. If you can bring that fun part forward, maybe it's a story that someone always tells that has everyone like dying. I think that to invite those things forward can be, can make a celebration really so special and so joyous and so memorable because it's those traditions that are unique to your family that make your kooky family your own. So that is what I was coming up for me today and, and last night. And I wanted to share that and I will see you tomorrow.